السلام علیکم گائز آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سرفراز علی ود دا کورس رائٹڈ انٹروڈکشن ٹو دا مائننگ میٹری اٹس اور ففتھ لیکچر ٹو ڈیز کوشچن از ٹرانسفارم سلنڈریکل پولر میٹرک ان ان ٹو کارٹیزین میٹرک مین وی وانٹ ٹو ٹرانسفارم سلنڈریکل پولر کوارڈینیٹ میٹرک ان ٹو کارٹیزین کوارڈینیٹ میٹرک Uh, as we know that the cylindrical coordinates are given as x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta, z is equal to z and uh, in its inverse form r is equal to x square plus y square whole square root and theta is equal to tangent inverse y over x and z is equal to z. Okay, here let x, y, z we replace with x1, x2, x3 and r theta z can be replaced with x1 bar, x2 bar, x3 bar. Uh, actually we are using here two coordinate systems at parallel. Then these above transformation equations will be of the form x1 is equal to mean x is equal to where x is equal to r cos theta here it is replaced with x1 is equal to x1 bar cos x2 bar x2 bar uh, x2 is equal to x1 bar sin x2 bar x3 is equal to x3 bar and x1 bar is equal to x1 square plus x2 square whole square root and x2 bar which is actually theta is equal to tangent inverse uh, wrongly uh, is this term is x2 over x1 and uh, third term x3 bar is equal to x3 now as we know the transformation equation of a matrix g a b is equal to delta a bar a delta b bar b g a bar b bar and uh, delta in term of uh, matrix we have uh, play, uh, we have change first uh, the contravariant a bar a bar the variation of a bar is 1 to 3 actually the variation is equal to the number of variables used in any metric and uh, we are using here a spherical metric the uh, cylindrical metric which has three coordinates r theta and z and uh, in uh, cartesian coordinate it has x y and z so our first met, uh, matrix uh, one column three rows become delta one bar a delta two bar a delta three bar a and when we replace uh, uh, when we variate uh, a which is a covariant term is equal to delta one bar one delta one bar two delta one bar three delta two bar one delta two bar two delta two bar three and in third row delta 3 bar 1 delta 3 bar 2 delta 3 bar 3 this whole matrix is also equal to delta b bar b mean a b c the index a is not a, um, the index is just for the uh, nomination of the variation I mean A, B, C are not uh, have uh, any special role. So the same delta A bar A is equal to the uh, partial derivative of X A with respect to X A bar. So here in this term delta A bar A is equal to partial X A bar over partial X A. No as we have the variation of a bar and a 1 2 3 so delta 1 bar 1 is equal to partial x1 over partial x1 mean we are taking deriv partial derivative of x1 bar with respect to x1 uh, so we write it is 
equal to partial of partial x1 now substituting the value of x1 bar which is x1 square plus x2 square whole square root uh, if you remember x1 bar is equal to r and you know r is equal to x square plus y square and in new variables x1 and x2 the right hand side is equal to x1 over x1 square plus x2 square whole square root uh, actually with, uh, when we apply the derivative uh, power rule of derivative of this equation mean first term of delta 1 bar 1 uh, we get uh, we obtain 1 over 2 into x1 square plus x2 square whole square root and in the nominator we obtain 2x1 and 2 is cancelled with 2 both terms denominator and denominator have 2 which is cancelled so we get x1 over x1 square plus x2 square and similarly we have derivative of uh, we have to find derivative of x1 bar with respect to x2 x1 bar is equal to say again x1 square plus x2 square whole square root now we are taking derivative with respect to x2 so the similar result just only the difference uh, in first term we got x1 in nominator and in this term we got x2 in this term uh, so answer is x2 over x1 square plus x2 square uh, don't mix up this two with square this is not square this is a post script of x mean uh, in this term this x2 is we have replaced with y now taking the derivative of uh, x1 uh, x1 bar with respect to x3 uh, x1 is x1 square plus x2 square whole square root and in this term there is no term of x3 so this term is treated as constant for x3 so derivative is term 0 ok this term delta 2 bar 1 is equal to partial x2 bar partial x1 which is equal to partial of partial x1 x2 bar is equal to tangent inverse x2 over x1 uh, now taking the derivative of tangent inverse uh, which is equal to give a minus x2 over x1 square plus x2 square similarly delta x delta 2 bar 2 is equal to partial x2 bar over partial x2 is equal to partial of partial x2 tangent inverse x2 over x1 which gives the answer x1 over x1 square plus x2 square and the taking derivative of for the same term with respect to x3 so there is no term of uh, x3 in this equation so it give answer 0 and uh, now taking derivative of x3 bar with respect to x1 which is 0 as it is treated constant with respect to x1 and similarly with x2 this term is also 0 and third term delta 3 bar 3 is equal to partial x3 bar over x partial x3 is equal to 1 so in this uh, result we have find all 9 derivatives of uh, delta now as GAP mean a metric tensor is equal to in its uh, transformation equation delta a bar a delta b bar b g a bar b bar okay now we have two dummy index here dummy index mean which can be gets uh, uh, here in this equation a bar and b bar both are dummy index so we are free to choose a bar or b bar 
टू वेरिएट फॉर द वेरिएशन ऑफ ए बार एंड बी बार वी हैव नंबर्स वन टू थ्री सो आई फिक्स बी बार एंड रिप्लेस ए बार अप टू वन टू थ्री सो आवर फर्स्ट टर्म बिकम डेल्टा वन बार ए डेल्टा बी बार बी एज इट इज जी वन बार बी बार प्लस डेल्टा टू बार ए delta b bar b as it is g two bar a bar uh, b bar plus third term e is very uh, three bar a delta b bar b as it is g three bar b bar okay now we have three terms in second step in each term we have three variation so we have nine terms total three terms for each term variations actually these terms uh, behave like a summation uh, first term delta 1 bar a delta 1 bar b g 1 bar 1 bar plus delta 1 bar a delta 2 bar b g1 bar 2 bar plus delta 1 bar a delta 3 bar b del g1 bar 3 bar these three terms are uh, from uh, term 1 and the variation of second term middle term uh, the central three terms plus delta 2 bar a delta 1 bar b g2 bar 1 bar plus delta 2 bar a delta 2 bar b g 2 bar 2 bar plus delta 2 bar a plus 3 bar b g 2 bar 3 bar and the third term which is delta 3 bar a delta b bar b g 3 bar b bar we are replacing b bar with 1 2 3 so in each term of uh, this uh, each term of this third term Uh, we replace b in first term we replace this with 1 in second term we replace it with 2 and in third term we replace it with 3 and we get in third term plus delta 3 bar a delta 1 bar b delta g 3 bar 1 bar plus delta 3 bar a delta 2 bar b plus uh, g 3 bar 2 bar plus delta 3 bar a delta 3 bar b g Okay. Now, in spheric, uh, in cylindrical metric, G A bar B bar is given as G one bar one, G one bar two bar, G one bar three bar, two bar one bar, G two bar, G two bar three bar, G three bar one bar, G three bar two bar, G three three bar is equal to. वन जीरो 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 आर स्क्र जीरो एंड इन थर्ड रो जीरो जीरो वन नौ सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ जी वन वन बार वन बार टू बार वन बार थ्री बार एंड सो वन इन सेकंड सेकंड स्टेप ऑफ दिस स्लाइड व्हिच हैव नाइन टर्म्स from the above matrix we have g1 bar 1 bar is equal to 1 so we substitute the value of g1 bar 1 bar which is equal to 1 plus delta 1 bar a delta 2 bar b the second term is g1 bar 2 bar which is 0 so we replace it with 0 and third term is also g1 bar 3 bar is 0 so this is 0 and four term g2 bar 1 bar is 0 we put this and fifth term means second term of so second row r square g2 bar 2 bar is r square we substitute this term and sixth term of the matrix are empty g2 bar 3 bar is also 0 g3 bar 1 bar is 0 g3 bar 2 bar is 0 and the last term g3 bar 3 bar is equal to 1 or we can say uh, in this matrix this is a diagonal matrix all the non diagonal entries are zero so 
so our metric is remained uh, GAT is equal to last step delta 1 bar A delta 1 bar B plus R square delta 2 bar A delta 2 bar B plus delta 3 bar A delta 3 bar B so this is the formula for the transformation equation now we move next uh, we need g1 bar 1 bar uh, inverse of g1 bar 1 bar which is g11 so we replace in the, pre uh, the last step of the previous slide uh, a and b with 1 so all terms become square of e square so we get delta 1 bar 1 square plus r square delta 2 bar 1 square plus delta 3 bar 1 square now substituting the values of delta 1 bar 1 delta 2 bar 1 delta 3 bar 1 which are the derivatives of uh, the given parameters the given variables so our first term delta 1 bar 1 is equal to x1 over x1 square plus x2 square whole square root and square of the term plus r square r square is equal to x square plus y square now we are using here uh, new parameters x1 bar x2 bar so the term become x1 square plus x2 square and delta 2 bar 1 is equal to minus x2 over x1 square plus x2 square whole square plus third term is c now from this equation these two equation first term is as it is and from second equation uh, due to square of the term minus x2 is replaced with x2 square and one term is cancelled with term of r square so we get x1 square over x1 square plus x2 square plus x2 square over x1 square plus x2 square taking the LCM of these terms as the same denominator of the term we get x1 square plus x2 square over x1 square plus x2 square so nominator and denominator are same these must be cancelled once is 1 so we get g11 is equal to 1 now we find next number g1 uh, when we write g12 actually we replace a with 1 and b with 2 so in general formula of the equation uh, we replace a with 1 and b with 2 our terms become delta 1 bar 1 delta 1 bar 2 plus r square delta 2 bar 1 delta 2 to delta 2 bar 2 plus delta 3 bar 1 delta 3 bar 2 now substituting the values of these terms uh, as the derivative of uh, uh, partial x3 with respect to x1 and x2 with both it is 0 so first two terms give the answer x1 x2 over x1 square plus x2 square minus x1 x2 over x1 square plus x2 square so both terms are same it gives the answer 0 ok up to now we have just find two terms g11 and g12 similarly g13 is equal to delta 1 bar 1 delta 1 3 plus r square delta 2 bar 1 delta 2 bar 3 plus delta 3 bar 1 delta 3 bar 3 uh, so in this term we replace a with 1 and b with 3 and substituting the values of these parameters uh, this becomes 0 so similarly g21 is equal to g12 these two terms are symmetric 
by m2 we found in previous slide g1 to a 0 so g2 1 is 0 and here we find g1 3 is 0 so due to symmetric property g3 1 must be 0 and uh, g3 2 is equal to g2 3 it is uh, also 0 uh, you can check it now the diagonal entry g2 2 is equal to delta 1 bar 2 delta 1 2 plus r square delta 2 bar 2 delta 2 bar 2 plus delta 3 bar 2 delta 3 bar 2 and it again becomes square of the terms substituting the value of delta 1 bar 2 square plus x1 square plus x2 plus square into x1 over x1 square plus x2 square whole square plus third term is c and uh, solving these two terms we get answer is 1 and g 3 3 we put a and b 3 3 in general form so delta 1 bar 3 delta 1 bar 3 plus r square delta 2 bar 3 delta 2 bar 3 plus delta 3 bar 3 delta 3 bar 3 all these terms replaced in squares so our answer become uh, derivative of first uh, x1 with respect to 3 is 0 derivative of x2 bar with respect to x3 is 0 and uh, derivative of x3 bar with respect to x3 is 1 so we get answer is 1 so we have found all the all the values of meter tensor g as we have g a b is equal to g 1 1 g 1 2 g 1 3 g 2 1 g 2 2 g 2 3 g 3 1 g 3 2 g 3 3 substituting the values of all, all these parameters as we observe all the non diagonal entries are 0 and diagonal entries are 1 so our answer is a diagonal meet, uh, sorry diagonal uh, if you can it is identity matrix of 3 by 3 and as we know that from Euclidean meter in 3 coordinates ds square is equal to dx square plus dy square plus dz square and when we change it uh, in matrix form uh, it gives a diagonal, diagonal matrix with values 1 1 1 so it gives a diagonal uh, identity matrix okay so this is the required answer of the question uh, this is the assignment for you transform spherical polar coordinate matrix into Cartesian coordinate matrix uh, here the coordinates are given x is equal to r sin theta cos phi y is equal to r sin theta sin phi z is equal to r cos theta and its inversion form r is equal to x square plus y square plus z square theta is equal to tangent inverse x square plus y square square root over z phi is equal to tangent inverse y over x and the same it can be replaced with the new variables x1 x2 x3 and r theta with r replaced with x1 bar x2 bar x3 bar then the transformation equation takes the form x1 is equal to x1 bar sine x2 bar cos x3 bar x2 is equal to x1 bar sine x2 bar sine x3 bar x3 is equal to x1 bar cos x2 bar and in inversion form x1 bar is equal to x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square whole square root x2 bar is equal to tangent inverse x1 square plus x2 square over x3 x3 bar is equal to tangent inverse x2 over x1 so this matrix this matrix we have to change in Cartesian matrix 
hope the answer 